Hi, I wanted to shoot this video because today was a really difficult day and I told you guys about it, but I wanted to go into more detail. Before I start, I wanted to start out with some of the things that these stalkers have said and sort of address those things. When I first realized that, not first first, but when I really realized that something was going on, I said things that were designed to provoke them to see how I can get them to be exposed. And I said things in the privacy of my own apartment. I told you guys in a different video. But even today, I used profane language. And what did it do? It brought them out. And that's how you know when you have these stalkers. They seek to control, dominate, and manipulate. So my trick, and I told them this years ago, I'm going to continue to trap them. Any opportunity I get to trap them. So that what they'll do is they'll secretly record me because like I told you before, they can record me, but I have a hard time recording them until I found ways to trap them. So I use the F word for gay people. That got them offended. I used their ethnicity and their religion and that got them offended. So in the privacy of my own home, they want to secretly record me saying things that they don't like. That's not allowed in America. We have freedom of speech and I have every right to say it. Now, if you record me in the privacy of my own home, then you are violating the law. You're breaking the law. And if you're stupid enough to fall for that trap each and every time, then I will keep exposing you folks. I will keep exposing you. So I'm telling you right now, gang stalkers, you're criminals and I will expose each and every one of you. And if you don't like the way I'm speaking in my home and you fall for the trap of recording it and passing it around, every time I notify every law enforcement agency, they will know who's involved. The next thing is they accuse me of using baby yarn for a necklace I made. Well, I did a video that showed it came from a t-shirt. It was a tip that I got from a YouTuber who told the world that you can cut up strips of t-shirt material and make it into yarn that you can sew with. I thought that was a great idea. Could you imagine making baby blankets out of t-shirts from relatives and family members? It could be cotton, it could be various colors, but it would be something personalized for a baby. So I wanted to expose them on that lie because that was also a lie they thought I used regular yarn, but no, it was out of a t-shirt. Cut t-shirts up into strips, make beautiful things out of it. The last lie they said, I was in a catalog years ago. Let me see if I can get this. This is me. Can you guys see me? Oh, there I am. And it talked about me. I don't know if you guys can see what it says. Let me see if I can get a closer image. But it was this catalog. At the bottom is someone else, but this passage is about me. And it talked about my, um, the courses that I took. And so this, this top passage is about me. And um, they were offended by this for some reason. And this catalog got mailed to various people and it was on display. And um, they were just really offended by it. And they thought that there was some big conspiracy. So I had to put this up. What I'm going to do now is, you know, as I get sick and at 48 years old, I think it's important that I put up things about me in my life so that these liars will not destroy my legacy. When I went today to get public assistance, they thought I would be ashamed, but I'm not ashamed because I worked hard in my life. And, you know, I realized at that moment how they would twist and distort everything that I've ever done and accomplished to make it seem like, I did something wrong or I'm guilty of something. And if I don't put it out publicly, there will be no way of doing it publicly. So I'm telling you folks right now, if you hear me in a video using derogatory names and labels for these people, I did it to provoke them. And it works each and every time. These are people who want to see me fall, not just me. They've done this to other people. I don't want to get into other people's stories, but I'm not the only one involved. That's why I went to besides it, you know, being wrong. But that's why I went to every law enforcement in this um, place 
because I want to make sure these people are exposed and that other victims of theirs can feel free coming forward. I don't have anything that I'm ashamed or embarrassed about. If you're being victimized and you have something you feel ashamed about, don't. That's how they work. They intentionally try. That's why they were snooping. They broke into the apartment looking for stuff, stealing stuff, trying to find something to get me to be ashamed of. That's why they don't come forward. So if you're a victim and there's something that you feel ashamed of, please don't let it hold you back from coming forward. They've said some really nasty things about other people. Really nasty. I don't know if it's true. At this point, it's not for me to investigate. I'm telling you, these people are doing it to many other people, not just me. And probably if you're watching and you're a victim, not just you. Come forward. Don't worry about being ashamed. I am telling you, we must stop these people. These are criminals and they do some of the worst things I've ever heard of. Thank you.